if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I answer comments fairly quickly. This algorithm is like super, this is one of the hardest algorithms I know. And I constantly mess it up even though I've known it for a long time. So I'll just show you what it looks like. I'm going to detail after this. And that's it. Okay, so this is the parody that I'm looking at today. It has, the whole cube is solved, just except for these two adjacent edges. So you hold this, like just like this in the front, and this middle part could be either flipped or not flipped. So it could be like this, or it could be like this. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter as long as you hold it like with that side. And just as a refresher to make sure, in a square one algorithm, the first number applies to the top face and the second number applies to the bottom face. Be very careful on which one is negative and positive because I, I even get confused um, when it comes to like the bottom. You just gotta like look at that face and think if it's going clockwise or counterclockwise. So, to start it off, you do a slash, and you line it up, and the bottom, you line it up, you move it back three, and then move it back to that corner again, slash. So here we got the barrel, so you only move it two, slash. And then go on the down, and you do two this way. Go up here again, two to line up that corner, slash. On top, four, like that, slash. And so you look at these two pieces down here now. So you go two this way, slash, and then just go back on those two slash and then from here you do negative one on top and then four on the bottom to line up this and this looks a lot solved slash negative three slash and you just got to realign that layer and that's how you do it and then just just in case you don't know if you have like just like what I have where the middle part is flipped around all you got to do is hold it right here slash and what we call a six but it's just like a u2 on top slash do that six again slash that okay so another case you might get is the opposite parity case. There is an algorithm for this, but I haven't personally memorized it. So what I just do is I just hold it here and I do the regular parity case that I just showed you. And what that gets me is like a U, U perm. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are able to now do the parody case. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I answer comments fairly quickly, and I uh, hope you have a good day. See you later.